Hi there, and thanks for watching. My name is Stephen Campbell, and I'm the pastor at the International Baptist Church of Bonn. We are an international body of believers striving together to establish a gospel-centered community in Bonn by the increase of love for God, each other, and our neighbors. You're watching the ninth video in our series, What Christians Believe. We're taking a look at the basic beliefs of the Christian faith as part of our aim at IBC Bond to lay a strong foundation for our members so they can have an active faith in a consistent Christian life. In a previous video, I introduced you to an ancient creed, an ancient summary of the gospel called the Apostles' Creed. Be sure to check out our separate series of videos on the Apostles' Creed if you want to go into even greater depth. In this video, however, we will look at our belief that God is the creator of all things. But to remind ourselves of that creed, that ancient summary of the Christian faith, let's read it together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy and global church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In today's lesson, we'll take a closer look at the Christian belief that God is the creator. On your screen, that is the Roman numeral one. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Christians believe that God, the Father, created all things in heaven and earth out of nothing and still upholds and rules them by his eternal wisdom and power. The Bible reveals that God is the creator of all that exists and that he created all things out of nothing. Humans are, are pretty clever sometimes, and we have built some impressive things, but humans have never been able to create out of nothing. We create by shaping and reshaping the materials that God created. He, he, we make cities out of the material that God has already put here. But the Bible reveals that God created out of nothing, simply by speaking things into existence. That's how powerful God is. And not only did he create it, but he keeps it from falling apart. Without his consistent attention, love, and care, our world would fall into pieces. Without his provision, we would not continue to live. Creation is not like a spinning top that God started and now he is just watching to see when it will stop spinning. Creation is like a garden that, that God created and, and continues to care for and provide for. Christians also believe uh, that we live in God's world and were created to glorify him for his work of creation and represent him here on earth by caring for his creation. Theologians say that God's creation is overabundant. Not that he, his love is too much, but that his love flows freely and never stops. And that should never stop filling us with awe and wonder. We all know that there are a lot of stars in the sky. If you've ever seen the Milky Way, which is the galaxy we live in, you know that there are a lot of stars in the sky. But why did God make all the stars that we can't see? That, I think, is a beautiful example of the overabundance of God's love in creation. He didn't have to create those stars. He didn't have to create our bodies to be so complex and amazing, but he did. And his creation reveals his power and his wisdom. And we should respond to this by worshiping him. In fact, throughout the Bible, we see people worship God for his creation. Another thing that we learn from the Bible is that God created man and woman to represent him here on earth. 
We were created to be a visible picture of who God is. We do that by taking care of his creation, by being creative and by being in relationship with him and with one another. Finally, Christians believe that we should trust in him completely for all that we need. If we live in God's world, how should we live? Let me ask that another way. What difference does it make to our lives if we belong to God and his creation reveals his power and his love? Well, Christians believe that we should trust God completely for all that we need. He will supply our needs. He will take care of us and protect us. He knows what is best for us, and he can be trusted because he is full of love. To help us remember that God created all things, we have a memory verse from Genesis 1, verse 1. It's real simple, and you probably already know it. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Our, our belief in, that, in this is not a small thing. It's a very important part of our faith. And in our next video, we will discuss more of the practical benefits of this basic Christian belief. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching and, and God bless you. Be sure to like these videos and follow our channel to be notified each week when a new video is posted.